Hi everyone, Susan Elias here. I am trying to go live on my computer and it is not working. So I'm quickly putting my phone here and hopefully that's gonna work. Um, I hope you guys can see it. Uh, the, okay, it says technical issues on the actual. Ah, oh, this is <laughs> so stressful. If you have any idea, I'm, uh, the, the phone is on live, but I'm trying to go on the computer. Ah, oh, can you see me? Can you see me? Anyone out there, go on. I am, I am, I am, I am live. I am live. Going live. I can see you. Okay, I'm going live. Whew. All right, so I just aborted the computer. It took an hour to try to do the enco encoding. Completely stressful. More stressful than fashion design. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank you that somebody can see me. Um, I, give me some more shout outs. I want to see that you guys can see me and I want to be able to see questions. If there's a way that I can see questions, I hope this is not going to be a total disaster. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's share, cancel. Uh, who can see me? All right. Hi, Duncan. Oh, wow. Yes, the same thing happened on another live view this evening. Insane. It was just buffering, buffering. It took about an hour to set it up on my, on my laptop, but I'm here live in my studio. I have my three mannequins behind me, and I just want to Q&A with you, and I'm going to talk about some things as well. I'm going to hopefully see your questions on my screen of my tiny little phone, but uh, just jump aboard and, and talk to me because <laughs> I'm a little bit of a freak out this entire day. So apparently this might be happening with YouTube itself because uh, I just got a comment saying that uh, it, was go it was having a problem with another YouTube live just a minute ago. But I'm here for you guys. And hopefully you can see everything. I'm going to bring this closer. Um, first, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my viewers. Thank you for all the, uh, the shout outs that I've had on Facebook Live as well as um, LinkedIn and Instagram. I wanted to, to go on live for the first time. This is my first experience going live for you guys. Um, so that I can give you more of a real-time uh, question and answering session so that um, I hope that you will be able to jump aboard. I want to see you guys ask me questions. All right, yes. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes, I can see you, but I'm also having technical difficulty. Ah, and, and then it went away. I don't know what that means. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm going to try to put on my, um, when it comes up on the screen, I'm going to try to come up here as well. Okay. Um, hi, Carmen. Woohoo, Carmen. How are you? I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for being one of my patrons, right? You're one of my patrons. Yeah, that's awesome. I have a special um, special announcement from for everybody, and that I will say that a little bit later. I want to bring I want some people to come on board first, and I just wanted to show you. You know, I have my this is my studio. This is where I do it. It's a very small space, but I have my three essential mannequins, and the first one is going to be showing you that I have my sloper set. Um, in muslin here. I'm going to be offering that for a special price right here, right now. Um, so give me some shout outs. I want to know that you're on there. And I have it draped in the muslin. And this is my size 8 form. Yes. Hi. Good, good, good. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. Um, love you too. Um, so this is, the, this is the muslin that I have. And this is my basic size 8. 
you guys are, that are wanting to learn from me and understand fashion design, the most essential thing is your dress form. That dress form, oh, which is my size eight. This size eight dress form is where everything starts. This is how everything is done. And I have the muslin um, draped in the basic sloper pieces. There's a five piece set that I'm gonna be offering right here, right now. This is the five piece set. Um, it is in oak tag. I have it with just the essential markings on it. And if you go to my um, actual website, SusanElias.com or EliasCouture.com, you will see the special price uh, for my YouTube live people. Yes, hi, hey David from Australia. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're on here. Um, I get to meet you guys like one-on-one. -on -one. I wish I could see you in person, but this is about as close as I can get right now. And it's actually really exciting. I was very nervous, very, very nervous. I didn't um, think I would be able to do it. Didn't sleep at all last night, but um, because it's different. It's different going live than it is taping it. Even though I don't do too many takes when I tape it, it's still a different feeling, guys. It's still a different feeling, very vulnerable, very vulnerable. But going back to the sloper set, you want to have your own company. You want to learn fashion design. It all usually works from an essential size eight dress form. That size eight dress form with those basic measurements of about 35, 27, 37. And then I make these sloper sets. These are the basic essential five piece sloper sets that you need in order to learn and to maneuver and make new designs. That is on my website for $75 just for the YouTube live people today. You can purchase this set um, domestically with shipping. I will ship it out to you in an envelope just like that with the oak tag and all the markings and you can actually follow along with me on um, the teachings. And if you want to have your own design company and you are establishing it, this is the sample size that you're going to want and need. I spent the last, I would say, month trying to get this accurate and, and good. Love your videos and help me. Oh, thank you so much. Getting back into fashion. Thank you. Hey, David. Teach you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, keep going. Appreciate it, David. Um, it, it's very exciting to see you guys on here and hopping on. Uh, this is, you know, this is my life's passion. I wanted to make it accessible and make it affordable for you guys. So most of it is on YouTube free, but I also have my Patreon account, which is where you get a small subscription and you can learn from the very beginning my basic draping, French draping style. So here, yes, yeah, so here's the sloper. I have it in muslin. This is what you're going to be getting. Hi. Okay, uh, she's the best. Ah, oh, you guys are here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I really try. You know, going back to some of the, the things in the very beginning, I had to refresh even myself. But everything starts with the basic sloper, guys. Everything starts with this basic sloper. Every design, whether you drape it or you flat pattern with the sloper, comes from this size eight form. So this is my basic size eight form for, for production and for my sample sizes. Hi, um, immense pleasure to see you live. Oh, thank you so much, Mohammed. Glad you're on this platform with me. Really, really appreciate it. Here's one of my couture gowns. It's on my size two mannequin. Believe it or not, I used to make all my samples this small. Everything has changed, the body has changed, um, our sizing has changed, it has increased. So I would no longer use that for my basic size um, four. That is now considered my two or zero. Hi, hi, Mohammed. how are you? Um, I'm so excited to be here. I really didn't think I could do it, but you guys are making it easy for me. Okay, from Uruguay, best tutorials ever. Thank you. I really 
that's that's great ask me a question guys I'm here to answer your question so you can ask me a question um, I will answer it on the spot if I can and here's the here's the vlog one this is the one that's a little bit larger mannequin this is where I'm doing the vlogs this is the lace gown project um, the next video actually number 17 will be uploaded right after this YouTube live event so you'll see that today as well and um, come on my patreon account come on that and see um, what I'm doing there you can ask me specific questions and I actually give you a format in a video format in an answer form and so it is um, it is where I'm teaching the fashion design I want to do it ex and make it ex you know accessible and not so um, difficult and expensive ah so much um need homework help again will you be instructing anything yes how do you determine the size i wish these things would stay on longer my goodness put it put it out so it's longer i can't see the um i will be doing more instruction i've already shot the next video for my patreons as far as the sleeve we're still working on the sleeve sloper and in order to do that there's so many steps to perfect it it has to go back on the dress form. This is the one that's perf perfect, perfected. Um, the sleeve has to be lined up exactly on the side of the garment. It can't be too hiked forward or too hiked backwards. So that is very, very important. That's one of my pet peeves. And I think anybody um, in the industry would say to show what is professional and what is, you know, home sewing. I'm going to just teach you professional techniques. I only intend to do professional techniques for you guys. So you will be learning and mastering the way to do this professionally. How do you determine your sizes for ready to wear? Good question. Um, for ready to wear, it depends on where you are in the world. Okay, Amer uh, I'll speak for the United States. United States, we have what we call like vanity sizes. So we want these sizes, we want that mid size or it's supposed to be the smallest size. You don't want it to be the number two or a four. You want it to be like a six. So you want that size to be whatever measurements you feel is right for your country or where you're at. In the United States, my magic measurements were always 35 or 35 and a half ish, 27 waist and 37 hip. Those are the basic three measure measurements that I use for my my basic size four six um, that's in the United States that took me years to formulate and to get perfected um, then you'll have to have the measurements of the shoulder you need the measurements of the length of the sleeve you need the measurements of the width of the sleeve and all these other little measurements but the basic three measurements for I would say a four six which is where you want to stem your sample size, where you're going to grade up to 8, 10, 12, 14, and grade down to 4, 2, 0, etc. Um, it starts with that size 6, 35 bus, 27, 37. Okay, uh, what do I sell them? That I would sell that garment as a size 4. I like to call it a 4. Other companies might call it a 6. Again, it is vanity sizes. If I call it a four, that means I'm giving a little bit more allowance to those to the body and making it a little bit easier for people to fit. You have to understand when it's non-woven, that means no stretch, um, those body measurements are pretty difficult to attain um, because people are so used to stretch. So that is stretch and non-stretch fabrics for the size four, six. That is my basic measurement. So, um, and then you, you want to grade those patterns. Make the designs always in that size. That means using the slopers, take getting this set from me, purchasing it on my website for the, for the special price I have today, and then learning along with me how to manipulate these pattern pieces or these blocks into new designs because there are three ways to make a pattern, okay? There's draping just on the dress form, there's pattern making with your slopers, and then there's drafting with just numbers alone. 
I primarily like to do draping. I'm the French draping um, expert. That's what I like to stay in my zone. I do very often also use the flat pattern method, which is the slash and spread, or the pivot method using the basic slopers. Um, but drafting, usually I will use drafting for things like making the block on the sleeve or making um, just some basic blocks because drafting is doesn't really incorporate the nuances of a body and the shapes and the movement of a body. It's too scientific. It's too, um, how do I say, generic. And so I don't usually like to do drafting as often, but I will show you some drafting techniques as well. Primarily, you're going to see the draping. So we're going to stick to that. Um, okay, ask me another question. I'm here for you. Um, meanwhile, I hope you're watching my vlogs, right? Okay, we're on we're on 17. Okay, so how much you would increase the size six to an eight? Yes. Um, this the measurements from a six to an eight is called a one inch grade. That means the full circumference of that pattern will grow only one inch, guys. One inch. If you have extra small, small, medium, and large, that grows one and a half inches per size. So the extra small to a small is one and a half inches increased. Then the small to the medium is one and a half inch increase in circumference. For sizes four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, it's one inch. Once you get to 16 or 18 and 22 and onwards, it increases to one and a half, sometimes two inches per size. That's how you're able to do some of the plus sizes. But your basic sizes are just one inch, guys, one inch. All right, so we're watching, um, watching you too. Thank you so much. That's exciting. It's exciting, guys, that I, I, you're on here with me. And um, I just want you to, to, to know that, you know, I'm trying to give you a, a channel that is not only educational, but also entertaining, because we're going to be we're going to be interviewing people in the industry that's going to be coming up shortly. Um, I'm showing you a, a couture gown from scratch and the nuances of making that from from every thought pattern and every step so you get to see every step there's no fast forward there's no concising you get to see every single step and um, yeah and then of course you know working the patterns out for your company when you're making your design house company all right, you have an online class. Yes, that's my Patreon class. My online class is my Patreon class. When will I appear live again? I don't know. This is nerve wracking. I'm literally on my phone, guys. I'm literally on my phone. Tiny little phone, not even on a, a good camera or my laptop. But um, I'll try to make this more regular if you want it. I'll try to make it more regular. I'm producing about... Uh, Hey, okay, I'm looking forward to learning more for the draping particularly. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, David. Um, I'm here to help you and for you to learn. Um, I want you to go on that format. After you've seen the videos from my big library that I have already on YouTube, I want you then to hop on to the Patreon account. So that's patreon.com, P-A-T-R, E O N, I think it's how it's spelled. I want to make sure I got that right. Dot com. And then Susan Elias Couture is the name. And I have an intro video on there. And I have my, my beginning uh, fashion design, drape, French draping. But I have a lot of these videos out there also on YouTube. So watch those first and then hop on. Uh, stretch fabric, V neck, uh, back. Okay, deep V, um, deep V's, very important. One of the basic rules for deep V's, if you have a very deep V in the front, see this deep V here, guys? Um, that's a good demonstration. When I have a deep V here in the front, it is almost essential to have it high on the back because the back height is what supports the deep V. You'll see on other garments, you'll see a deep V in the front, you'll see a deep V in the back. In order to make that actually happen, you have to have special structures to hold it in. 
Okay, having trouble with black, uh, with back slopers moving. Right, okay, so on the back sloper, guys, there is only um, kind of a slash and spread method that you do. There's, you don't pivot on the back sloper. That's where people get a little confused because there's no bust, there's no apex. On the front sloper, you see there's an apex. See the center point? That's where everything is pivoted. That's where every one of these different um, areas are moved. These are all the different movements. These are all the different areas you can move this one large dart. Yes, okay, starting with the armhole. Making videos, armholes are very important as well. In fact, I spent the last 48 hours literally changing the armhole on my sloper because it is very, very important to have it um, down the right amount. When you're making your basic garments, you're only going to go down from the um, arm plate. Let me show you the arm plate. Let me show you the arm plate on this side. You only go down from this arm plate one inch, one inch. Sometimes the most you would go down is one and a quarter of an inch. So people who are going very far down underneath the arm plate to make their armhole, what happens, you think it's actually helping, but it's not. What happens is it's going to make it harder for you to pull that garment up. The higher up you go under the armpit, oh my gosh, don't tell me my battery is dying. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the battery is dying. It doesn't seem to be charging. Another technical difficulty. Um, I do want to tell you guys, please, please go on my uh, website, EliasCouture.com, E-L-I-A-S-C-O-U-T-U-R-E.com. Go on the Buy tab, and you can see these slopers. I have it. Come on board with me. Learn with me. Get the sloper so we can work together and get your line started. It is $75 today for the full set of five. That means the front, the back, the skirt, back and front, and the basic sleeve, straight sleeve. These five essential pieces are the five essential pieces to make everything. Blouses, dresses, jackets, um, everything. Skirts, everything. So all you need to start is the five piece set. I have it down to $75 just for this event from 275 okay will you write your website in the chat i wish i could let's see if i can do that i'm so inept with this all right let's see if i can do that i will i will do it um i will i will put it after um this is posted my link for my website and it's going to be susanelias.com s-u-s-a-n-e-l-i-a-s.com I'll put it in the description. Okay, it's in the description. So we'll do that. We'll put it in. It's in the description. The Patreon account link will also be in the description box. So look for that there. Um, and I need you in these two locations. I want you guys to be on board with me on both of those. Um, I This might be a, a shorter segment because of my last minute having to do this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Muhammad. I want to see you guys there. I want to see your lines develop. I will start doing this more often, and I will also maybe develop a Zoom call with a group of you so that we can have physically live chats and I can see you from all over the world. That's coming up on my Patreon account. So go on my Patreon account. It's in the description box and meet me there. See, see what I have there, a lot of good videos. Uh, the body slopers and so the dresses from like the 50s. Yes, we can start from the very beginning. You can submit even a design. If you go on my Patreon account and you ask me a specific question and show me a specific design, you can even get that as a request for being on the premier tier. So think about that and get on there. How do you compensate for the armhole styling uh, from the back? It's all done with the, um, I always talk about it, the uh, French curve. Let me find my French curve. The French curve is, is this 
transparent ruler that I think is super essential. I'll have it in the description box where you can get it on Amazon. It, it, it has holes in the very specific areas, so it is the only tool that you're going to need for armholes. It is the best tool for armholes. Um, so I'll have that in the description box as well. Um, so there is a way to do the armhole. The, the front armhole, as you can see, is more of a curve. The back armhole, as you can see, is more straight. Why is that? Because you need to have extra room back here so that you can actually move forward and move around. So that's why this is a straighter piece on the back. Okay, battery running out. Ah, it's a Wi-Fi. It's eating up the energy. That's what's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, well, this is my first attempt. Uh, we did make it, so I'm happy that it, it, I actually was able to go on live. Um, give me hashtag, hashtag live if you are here live with me. Um, and give me hashtag, um, you know, preview afterwards for later. Uh, curious, would you be considering doing a sewing tutorial? Of course. I will do the basic sewing tutorial. That is that is next. Um, so broke that I had to break uh, the uh, burger. Okay, uh, nice to see you once again. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm probably gonna have to sign out soon because it's dying. So we have to make sure your camera phone is plugged in for recharge. Oh yeah, yeah. It is plugged in. Believe it or not, guys, it actually is plugged in. So I don't know why I'm having this kind of difficulty because my camera, my phone is actually plugged in. Maybe it's not plugged in well. Let me check. Let's try this here. No. There we go. Maybe that it just wasn't taking it now, but it is plugged in. All right. So give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this, this YouTube live. I thank you for coming on board with me. Um, nerve-wracking a little bit different i wish i could see your your questions at a longer period i think on the web on the actual um laptop it probably would sit there longer uh but i thank you so much for this platform i'm going to probably sign off in, in a few minutes any other questions let me know right now give me a give me a question if you have it i want to see you on the vlogs follow along because that's actually my show that's more of the format of my show um, this is for my teaching all right and you're doing well oh thank you thank you so much thank you so much david you're awesome for giving me such uh encouragement very nervous about this okay thank you so much thank you so much um so i hope to see you on my patreon account okay uh hashtag live yeah, hashtag if it was live, you saw me live. Hashtag, um, you know, preview for seeing it later. Okay, okay, hashtag live. Awesome, thank you. I'm so glad you guys are on here. Um, I, I thought this time zone was good and this day is good. Uh, thank you, hashtag live, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I, I hope to see you on my channel more. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm glad that um, this has been successful for you. Any other questions, let me know. Let me know. I'm here for you and I can sort of see. <laughs> okay. Hashtag, hi, Maricel. I'm so glad you're on here. Thank you. All right. Sounds like you have many levels of looking forward to learning. Yes, I do. I, I have many levels. My background is couture. I hope you would see my memoirs and, and understand. I'll put that link so you can see my, my journey as a designer. Thank you, Muhammad. Hashtag live. Um, so that you can, I, my background is couture. So that's what I normally do. And I, I ventured out in contemporary and best and modern. And I did all these other different levels and a lot of stretch as well, but I'm going back to my roots, guys. And that's what the vlog is all about. I'm kind of going back to my roots. I want to do that more than, than ever. I want to bring the couture back and I want to make it accessible. I meant the sloper, how do you compensate for the different size armholes? That's in the grading. Once you do, I'll, 
You mean I'm I'm more specifically? Uh, thank you both. Thank you. I'm glad you saw my memoirs. Okay, uh, tricks and find the clientele. Let's see. I that went too fast. That that question. Maybe you want to put it back on, and I can see it again. Um, the armholes are different. When you do the size uh, four six, then you're gonna grade this, and that means you're gonna lower it slightly and you're gonna go out slightly, and that becomes your eight, 10, 12, 14. That's how that works. Um, all right, thank you live, thank you. Glad you're, you're here live. Let's see how long the juice on this battery works. So I want you guys here. Um, so that's how you do that. It's all in grading. And I know there was a question about grading on my Patreon account. I was going to get to it. So you can go on there as well and learn that. But um, you just want to make sure that your size 6 or your size 4 is accurate. And then you go from there. Uh, ticks on putting your name uh, out for clients. It's a different world now. Uh, getting your name out for clients, it's all online. Um, website's not as, not as important. It's more like social media. Uh, Instagram, I think it's huge. I'm just starting to really get on Instagram. I'm not that uh, saturated with Instagram, but that's a big one um, for getting clientele because you get a lot of celebrities there as well. My Facebook page is actually pretty large with a lot of celebrities, but it took years to get there. Um, so it is just a matter of knowing stylists and who the stylists are and then getting to be their friends and those stylists who, who dress some of these celebrities and, and clients. Clients in general, it is just going, you know, go live, go live on Facebook, um, develop a, a live platform maybe on Instagram, uh, reach out to every social media, you know, format that you can. And it's, it just takes one person who knows another person and that's how you get clients. Just, just saturating it out, just putting it out there, putting it out there. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It was a different world back then. Um, now it's instant, and now it is it is you know basically going on live, and that's why I chose to do this fate, this YouTube live today. Hey Jerry, thank you for being live. Appreciate you. Uh, these techniques are great to learn. Having to learn fashion design school, learning pattern drafting, architect, and so satisfying. I'm so glad you're saying that. I'm so excited. Marcel, I agree. Okay. Oh, from the Philippines. Um, I thought Cuba. Okay. Wow. I'm trying. Forgive me. I can barely see these comments, but and they're going so fast. But um, I do appreciate them, and we'll get it situated so next time it'll be working better, and I will have it so that I can see your comments uh, better. So appreciate you guys. I'm going to put the link to my website in the description box. Go there and get your five-piece sloper set. I spent a long time perfecting this. Take my perfection, take my work, and get your basic slopers. It's a great, great price. Most of these slopers can go up to $800 um, for a company to sell. And I'm selling it for $75, including shipping domestically. So, um, and it has... Everything and the numbers are just right for today's woman and the sizes and with the ease for that perfect size 4.6. And I hope to see you on my vlogs. The next vlog will be coming out probably tonight. All right. Anybody here from um, Miami? Thank you. Um, yes, I have friends there. I, I lived there for 20 years. I had my fashion line in Miami. So uh, shout out to Miami for sure. I have a friend who has a school there as well, and there she goes, went to, okay, the Institute in 78, good for you. I taught at the Institute in Miami, the Art Institute, or the University, it was the, uh, what was it, it they, I, they kept changing the name. It was uh, Miami International University of Art and Design is what they changed it to, but it was basically the Art Institute of Miami and I taught there and that's where the whole spark of wanting to give this away on the format of YouTube came from. 
uh, after leaving there in 2007. I taught privately and I also taught businesses and owners and that's when I said you know what I'm gonna put this stuff on free on YouTube and that's when it's my channel started did not take it seriously back then could should have could have had would have but now I'm taking it very seriously and I still want to give this away mostly for you guys okay started in San Francisco awesome San Francisco is wonderful I wish I could um, explore that more it's a different type of uh, fashion and style in San Francisco than it is in Miami as well as New York my education was in in New York I went to FIT so um, I have that New York type of um, education as well as mindset and maybe design as well uh, but uh, I love California and love their woohoo Miami Miami yes Miami I'm so we'll be coming to visit again um, don't know when but I do plan to do that soon uh, there is a school yes out there you can go in person um, you're able to reread I hope I'm able to reread these comments Brickle hi from Brickle nice to see you put hashtag live so I know this was live okay I want to see who was live all right I want to see how many people saw this okay I'm gonna probably sign out soon but I want you guys to uh, to uh, benefit from this so if you have any other questions give me a question I'm here for the end and we'll probably be signing out shortly um, and I do appreciate you uh, it's all about being live thank you hashtag live appreciate you guys go on my website check it out check out some of my designs check out my initial um, videos there as well um, I do have my mission statement where I talk about why I put this whole line the whole YouTube channel together check out my website navigate through there come on my patreon account check out my intro video see the different classes I'm offering um, I think it's a good format it's definitely a good format if you want to learn from the very beginning step by step because um, on on YouTube it's it's scattered right it's all over the place and I'm deaf I'm going to make this all consecutive where can I find your memoirs it's in my YouTube I'll put the link in the description box so you can see that video I do appreciate it it'll give you a little bit more of an insight of my history I've been in the industry for 30 plus years I, I say 30 because I don't want to say more <laughs> but it's been more um, so I, I'm one of the old school guys and I've been there with some of the with some of the greats hashtag live thank you for putting that hashtag live I appreciate it and um, so I, I'm just very thrilled to do this for the very first time if you haven't subscribed please subscribe tell your friends about this I'm trying to make this my full-time um, position where I'm just putting all my focus into this and I need the subscription base to go up so I want your subscriptions if you haven't subscribed hashtag live thank you appreciate it um, put some more comments I hope I can read them later I'll answer them all separately if, if they do pop up on my feed um, and I thank you so much and I'm probably gonna just uh, get off now all right bye <laughs> thank you videos on getting the best out for these live sessions I know I've only seen a couple of live videos and um, that didn't see a lot about them as far as setting up my laptop nightmare but <laughs> we'll get it worked out and uh, we'll do this again if you like it let me know in the comments section give me some questions in the comments section I'll answer each one of those questions bye guys thank you bye bye oh I see them now wow okay bye bye I don't know how to get off here all righty I'm not sure how to get off. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> bye bye. Have a nice time. Oh my God. I tell you what. All right. All right. So we, we're here <laughs> live. I don't even know how to get off of this. That's pretty sad, right? I'm just trying to share. Oh, cancel. And um, 
All right, live super chat. And we are crushing it. And 